Labor Party secures court order compelling the electoral body INEC to transmit results during governorship election in Lagos. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The electoral body was also asked to ensure delivery of voting materials to all polling units in Lagos. The Labour State Chapter of the Labour Party has secured a court order compelling the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC to upload all results on its results viewing portal IREV after collation by presenting officers in each polling unit. The party has approached the Federal High Court, Lagos, urging it to order INEC to transmit all votes, immediately counting it as completed. Immediately counting, counting is completed at polling units. The electoral body who also asked to ensure delivery of voting materials to all polling units in Lagos. The court's document reads, and I quote, a declaration for the defendant and all his agents and all their privates or other persons acting under directions about to comply with and enforce the provision of clause 38 of the regulations and guidelines for the conduct of the elections 2022 for the conduct of the governorship and house of assembly elections in Lagos State on 11 March 2023 to wit. Mandating the president office officer of the opening unit of opening unit to electronic electro, electronically transmit or transfer the results of the polling unit direct to the collation system and use the my modal voter rotation system beaver to upload a scanned copy of the EC eight eight or annex results viewing portal IRF immediately after the completion of all polling unit voting and results procedures. A declaration that a defendant is bound to enforce the observant and compliance of Section 217 of the Electoral Act 2022 in distribution of electoral materials during the conduct of the governorship election and House of Assembly election in Lagos State on 11 March 2023 by engaging the services of independent, competent and reliable logistic companies who are non-partisans or known supporters of political party for the distribution of electoral materials and personnel. An order of mandamus directing and or compelling the defendant and all its agents and other privates or any other persons acting under directions to comply with and enforce the provision of clause 37 of the regulations and guidelines for the conduct of elections or for the conductors of elections 2023 for the conduct of the governorship and house of assembly elections in Lagos State on the 11th of March 2023 to wit mandating the presiding officer of all polling units to paste the result immediately after election. Within on the application, the judge said that leave is hereby granted to the applicant to apply for an order of mandamus compelling the defendant and all its agents and or privates or any persons acting in other direction to comply with and enforce the provision of clause 37 of the regulation and guidelines for the conduct of elections 2023 for the conduct of the governorship and house of assembly elections in Lagos State. Okay, well, moving forward. The thing is, this is an opportunity for the judiciary, if you ask me, to make full use of their power. The judiciary in this country, most of them are doing their plain, their plain politics with their job. Yes. None of them has really come out and stand independently. And the thing is, let me tell you people, the judiciary has power. I've said it before. We have three arms of government. We have the legislative, we have the judiciary, and we have the executive. Now, each of them are powerful. I don't want you to people understand. The only one that Buhari is in charge of is the executive power. The judiciary power is, you know, in the courts. And then the legislative power is owned by Senate people, those who make the laws. The judiciary inter interprets the laws, you know, and the president, you know, uh -huh, they also executes the laws good now the thing that is causing all this problem is because the presidency or should i say the executive power sometimes or should i say the judiciary shrink their powers and allow the executive to reign on them and this is not so they are supposed to be acting only as checkmates to excesses like they are supposed to be acting only as checkmates the judiciary won't use their powers too much. They go tell themselves, "Ga, ga, ga, no, no, be so." The executive won't use their ga, their distance too much. The same thing. The legislative people, they won't bring out laws. No, everybody. Will. That is it. And these people in this various system of government, they are not supposed to be 
how my people they're not supposed to be see the way they are doing it now party like and i might party this one and my party not be so not be so you're not supposed to be so all right so many politicians will learn from Mobi on how to play politics they will understand how to claim back their mandate once it is stolen people have no better to ask Obi how we managed to claim his governorship bandage in alhambra state P2B is extraordinary intelligence, always goes to equity with clean hands, all like others. This is where APC INEC lost the game. But we will teach those old good for nothing politicians what they have not learned in 70 years. But in a country that is working, do they need court, the court to ask them to do the right thing? It is just like you were employed to work as a it's just like you were employed to work as a what's it called? As a financial officer. Or let's say marketer. And then you now have to use the court to tell you to do your job. <laughs> to me, it is absurd. It is a very pitiable state. And the thing is, this is the only way to do it legally. Since they don't want to make we use the court. So yeah, I should not want to do this thing. Do one. The laws are already there guiding this thing. But the thing is, the law is once again being suppressed. The laws does not work. We really need somebody who values the rule of law and separation of powers. You see these two things I'm saying. Any country where we say they abide by number one, separation of powers, number two, the rule of law, I tell you, the citizens of that country, then they what they call 5G. It is how it's supposed to be. If you still, the law is there. They don't even need to come and be saying, My Lord, may I. You're supposed to be knowing that you don't, if you still, they will just jail you. You understand? Okay. All other LP states is contesting, they should get similar cause others. I'm telling you. I just wish that they did it for not just Lagos, but for, you know, the whole Nigeria. Must they obtain court order to do the right thing in a normal... My dear, this is what I was talking about. In a normal working country that is sane, that is normal, not abnormal. We're not supposed to be seeing these things. But because in this part of the world, eh, I know even fit, I know even fit talk. I really concur with that. And it has to be nationwide, not only in only Lagos. Only that INEC should be more careful and get the IT experts ready because those who insisted on live transmission might have an agenda. Okay. Okay. Lagos State is not an umbrella state. We just learn our lessons. Hmm. Okay. APC will win Lagos State on the 11th of March. My own is let the election be conducted and let the will of the people, st the will of the people stand. That is my own. Let the elections be conducted. And let the will of the people stand. Shikina, nobody's asking for too much. Absolutely no one. The Nigeria where I was, and the Nigeria will be say, you don't need a godfather to be a governor. You don't need godfather. You don't need cabals to be the president. Everything will be crystal clear. And, you know, the will of the people will just be respected. All right. On those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.